wholeness and balance vibrations family let me be the first to welcome you as a reflection of you i am curtis aru and this is the one tribe podcast home of the daily spectrum resonance where we share solutions relating to physical mental and spiritual well-being with sovereignty as our goal we discuss what works with adept guests and tribe no theory just raw unapologetic truth because truth is nature and we honor her gifts so leave your shoes at the esoteric door as we make soul connections with every step forward let's keep vibing in resonance at top speeds because the portal is now open wholeness Go top speed, much love. I trust, 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 trust. Mic check one two one two. I trust the sound is truly coming through. But all I want to do is connect with you, and it gotta be, gotta be, gotta be truth. You know, I'm your brother Curtis Aru, the reflection of you. And today is a beautiful day to connect. Let's tap into the now moment. Here is the present. Join me unwrap this thing. Today's topic is bending will change you for better or for worse. I got a story. So I'm from a small town in uh, in South Carolina called King's Tree. Uh, here, my grandparents had a small house. And um, it was about five feet, no, maybe 5'11", 5'11", 5'10". That was the, the ceiling in most of the house, or in, in many rooms in the house. And I'm like six foot one, six foot two, you know, it's some change. It might have changed in the last couple of years. My granddad, I get my height from my granddad. And my grandfather would be in this house for years and he would always get to in the rooms in the kitchen um, uh, and some of the other rooms where we would be he would come in he would always have his head down he would bend his head and then walk around and speak and you know get back outside do some farming and he sometimes pick it back up but during my lifetime most of his days went here in the house and he would always you know being here you know, eating this way, standing this way, talking to us in this way. And for us, it kind of looked normal because we were just looking up and seeing he'd be looking down at us, made us feel maybe more, uh, he was paying attention, you know? But he did that. And he grew to, he grew into that curve. So he, he kept his head like here most of the time. And as he got older, it became more pronounced that he walked with an arch. You know, still tall guy, but he'd be taller if he stood straight up. And this is analogy I use in relationships. It is a, it's a video by Stephen Bomar, and it goes, uh, The Perfect Relationship. Check it out on YouTube. It's phenomenal. You will not regret it if you check it out. And in this relationship, it started off in, in part of this, this uh, masterpiece of wisdom. Bending. Not like yoga, where you can know bend, you need to know flow so your body can animate or your spirit can animate this body a bit more, tap into more of the uh, of the fluidity, fluidity and flexibility, going from motion to motion, you know, breathing through the tension, uh, finding the balance in spaces that you knew not, um, and allowing the waters of your body to you know get into certain crevices in the body you hadn't really been to and check out in a long time and really circulate this, you know, prana energy throughout the body and connect one with oneself, which is connected to everything. That's amazing. But in this relationship, we sometimes, sometimes bend in relationships and we don't realize, you know, when it happens, you know, we can, I'll, I'll give an example, uh, just in real time, when, when I, when, when I, in my orientation, on, on, on dating, you know, when you watch TV and, you know, everybody's kind of uh, 
quote unquote monogamous. You know, you you when you start dating in the movies, they talking to one girl, and that that one girl is pretty much it's all you talk to, and this changed a lot of the game because again myself I'm I'm social I love to communicate I love to talk to many different people and before I realized when I started dating I would just you know cut all my friends off and that would be half the people I talked to if not more than half and that changed how my relationship flowed because this wasn't the type of the, the person that I was I had many stories from different friends and communicating different things and for me, I would learn a lot from communicating with so many amazing people. And when I changed that ability of myself, that natural inclination to do what I do, I changed who I was. I began to bend. And I wasn't asked to bend, but it was a subconscious program that told me I should do this if I'm in a relationship. And I should do this. And sometimes in a relationship, we do things that is not who we truly are. You know, we bend just a bit. And this deforms us into a new creation, a new uh, version of yourself that's not as upstanding as you are. And so I didn't realize I did this until I really I checked out the video. And I had to put some things together and I'm like, oh, this, hmm, this, this doesn't work for me. You know, I'm, I'm, and so I had to begin to open up different facets of myself all over again and has to introduce this me to my partners and this was this was this was freeing and when you do that for yourself you do, have also open that up for anyone you're in a relationship with and so bending bending will change you will it change you for the better or will it change you for the worse you know is your spine Erect. Are you operating in your truth? Are you operating in honesty, transparency, love, and in compassion? You know, and so many other different things that can get you in alignment with yourself. And with this analogy, again, the physical analogy would be my grandfather, who, who lived the remainder of his days at a bend because... We just didn't, you know, expand the roof. You know, let's take some things down. Let's make it, you know, so I can stand in my house. You know, standing in your house. Standing up for yourself. Standing up for what you know to be divine. What you know to be true. And only you can determine that. And anyone else who is trying to, or again, myself. I'm talking about myself. I, I confined myself into this. Uh, state of being because I thought this is how it was supposed to be and this has to be unraveled you must unlearn what you have learned says Yoda and with that being said I'm going to leave it there we're short and sweet and I'm going to go into some crypto updates so all my crypto family give thanks if you're new to cryptocurrency I am also the crypto griot and I will tell you a bit of stories that we find in the charts so in these charts, uh, crypto charts, if you're new, cryptocurrency is the new hotness on the streets, been around since 2009, and is just getting started. Bitcoin is the number one honcho on the block, so it is worth the most. Right now, Bitcoin is pushing 62, 63,000. We've got to look into it just right now and uh, get a quick pick in the Keep peeking the charts and where it's going next. You can also get a one-on-one -on -one with me at at one tribe.io slash one oh one APP. And that's again O-N-E-T-R-I-B-E. Dot I O that I O. Put it up for you right now, family. So right here, we got some charts to look at. Some charts, chart, charts to give you a quick update and what it's looking like. In the charts from where I see we might be going next. Let me move some things around. Bam. Okay. I think we are good to go. Make sure my mug is out the way. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Mm -hmm. I think that may be good enough. All right. So here. Here is the chart I already have going. I trust the sound is coming through clearly. And let me... 
Make sure that sound is coming through clearly. Okay, that is. Uh, right, here we go. As we tap into this. Here is a, a chart of Bitcoin, BTC. I'm going to give you two different charts so you can see it without all of this madness and uh, with the madness. This is, let's go with uh, KuCoin. Okay, so this is Bitcoin. Bitcoin on a 243. Uh, this is the chart that's looking like right now. As we know, those follow BK Brandon. Um, BK has the offered the boss method to the world for free. And basically, when the white is over the blue, you know what to do. You want to grab some and you ride the wave on up. So if you bought some back here at 32, you are already up. Uh, about at least 50% in the last two months, give thanks. All right, so where we are right now, we see BTC is at 40, 64, 64,000, which is a new high, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, it's hitting its high currently right now. You're witnessing history right now live with your brother Curtis Aru. The reflection of you and the last time it hit this high it was on the 14th of april and the highest that it went was at one nope at 60 64 eight, 23 that's 64,823 dollars and right now at 63 there is it is almost at that tip it's at six 64.8 right now it's at 64 three so it's about 500 off its high high and what typically happens, uh, let me put a bar right here so you can actually see it uh, a little bit more clearly. Bam, right there. This is the high. This is forming what we call a double top. Double top, that's one. This is two. Two tops. Two tops. It's going up. It's going up, up nicely here. And what we find typically happens, uh, it's like you... You hit a vertical leap, bam, you jumped up high as you can, mm, you hit this high, highest point you ever hit, you kind of rest for a bit and you take it on down and then you bring it back up again. So what we call this is a double top in, um, in crypto and in, in trading uh, analytical work. And right here, we expect just from previous times that it, for it to hit a double top and come down and come down. So. We'll throw a Fibonacci retracement tool up here and then I'll go to my other chart in just a sec. Where, where when it jumped here in July and it went to that first jump here. Because typically when it does this, you ever seen a kid and um, you kind of, or somebody when you were a kid, people would say, hey, when you were small, hey, you're going to be tall. You're going to be tall or you're going to be this height. You know, based on where you are right now, they can see where you're going based on maybe knowing your parents, knowing your mom, dad, grandma, uncle. And, and the close family members that can determine where you're going and where the probability of your growth. So the Fibonacci tool is based on the Fibonacci patterns because Fibonacci patterns is the, the math of humans, a math of this, this physical plane. We, a lot of things are built in phi's um, with the phi ratio. And this Fibonacci retracement tool is the same mathematics. So when this first jump right here, first break, it, it gave the potential that it can be here. Like this is the highest that it would go on this um, on this run uh, from this jump here with that energy from there. So the highest we can see this thing jump in another. Um, and give me as you know, crypto anything can happen. But uh, the highest it could go with another twenty percent, which would be phenomenal, which would be crazy. Um, but typically, we'll see it. Probably hit this pump here and then take, might even come up here and then bounce that and take it on back down for a bit, which it may catch about right here again around, um, uh, what is that? In that zone at 57, 57, which I, that's a smooth zone because they got a lot of support right there. The support right here is all of this, all of this. So, that's a, a huge support line, and it probably will come back and test that, bounce off that, and keep it moving. Hopefully, that's the that's the that's the gist of it. And as um, I previously stated in another video, the ideology of Bitcoin. Um, ideology is another amazing 
uh, mathematical wonder that aids in the projecting of, of well, identifying of archetypes of humanity based on the Ennead and Kemet and the numbers from zero to nine. And Bitcoin was came on the scene on a three day. And so just as I've been watching, uh, on three days, it typically takes a, a small a dip. So just a quick update, uh, not to go much too longer. On three days, it typically bounces and goes down. Today is the 20th, tomorrow, no, today is the 19th, tomorrow, while well, I'm making this video, tomorrow is the 20th. And 20th is a two day, because two and zero is two, and the day after that is the 21st. So within the 20th and the 21st, it typically makes that decision, hey, I'm about to make a little dip, or I'm going to keep it pumping. And chances are, with this double top happening, it may take the dip on tomorrow, which is the 20th of uh, October. So, this is not definite. This is all probability. And uh, while we're looking, we, this, this is my projection of where we're going. And also, with my other chart that I'll pull up, let me grab the other, bam, this one here. With this circle Fibonacci tool that I got going on and popping, I did this in a while back, a while back, me and a couple weeks ago, or two weeks ago, um, just seeing where the market is going. You will see that these, this is a Fibonacci retracement, which it's more, it, it operates in the slopes and angles, uh, as you see with circles, Fibonacci circles. So this is a resistance line. And I, I, I charted this uh, again a minute ago. So typically it hits the resistance and slopes it on down. So it hits that and, and brings it on down. So it might bring it on back down and check it out by right here around 57, 58 uh, looking like. Or it may try to bounce up and hit up here. It might hit one candle up here, up at uh, 60, 67, 6, something like that. Uh, but I can't expect it to go much higher than that based on the the movements of the past. You pred the future is predicated on the past. So with all that being said, I said, hey, if you in Bitcoin or a couple of other altcoins in this eye right now, I would suggest setting a smooth stop loss and um, and picking it up on the dips. Uh, one of my other favorite coins is Tribe Coin. And I'm going to leave a Bitcoin right there and go to the next one. And I'm going to be out of your hair for today. I mean, you can book me on 101. Uh, book a 101 with me on the website. And also, if you want to get into soul coaching, because we definitely are multifaceted. We can connect on multiple levels, financial, uh, spiritual, mental, uh, all of it. On our, on our platform at SecretEnergy.com. And I'm a coach under the ambassador pro section you also can book no also one on one session on my website too uh so here this is tribe tribe has an interim relation interesting relationship with bitcoin typically when bitcoin goes up tribe goes down slightly when bitcoin goes down tribe shoots up nicely so if I was, uh, which I am, you know, in the crypto verse, actually, uh, you no know, navigating this thing, I would bank more on tribe coin really staying uh, here. And as it's reading, reaching this next resistance line, it typically, for this particular instance, it had the more potential to go up because it's closer to this resistance resistance moving average here. It's only about, bam, six percent. Uh, from that line there and it is moving up with great position and it already had a retraction come back here bang 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 that's nine percent that is nice and it has then now been um, consolidating on this next move to be up and again it aligns with the 21st so all this is in resonance uh, it's enough crypto talk family if you want to get a quick uh, some good bookmarks you want to check out coinmarketcap.com uh, some other tips for those who are just getting started. CoinMarketCap.com. CoinMarket. Bang, bang, bang. bang. CoinMarketCap.com. Is that transferring over? Yes, it is. All right. CoinMarketCap.com is where you will find the top 100 cryptocurrencies on the front page. On the front page right here. I'm not going to go through all these. Of course not. But 
just know that again this is just getting started and there are already 12,000 as you see right here on this top left uh, corner here 12,882 cryptocurrencies that are, are rocking strong in this ecosystem are being registered with coinmarketcap.com uh, next thing is those who are looking to buy crypto you can always find uh, crypto at a crypto ATM near you and I'm pretty sure you're in a space where you're within 30 to 2 minutes away from a crypto ATM go to coinatimradar.com and it'll help you find something that is close to you just come in here type your location your zip code and you'll be able to find ATMs near you alright so I'm your brother Curtis Aru and I'm gonna end it on that I appreciate you tuning in smash the like button if you appreciate your brother's content hit me up in the comments send some love share it with a friend keep vibing the resonance at top speeds remember your bending never break and make sure you're bending in a space that is best suited for your growth into the heavens into the crown and connecting in the center so until next time wholeness and balance vibrations I honor you and your manifestations I'm your brother Curtis Heru and I'm the reflection of you Here's my beats to be coming through, and I appreciate you coming in here with me. Where's my beat go? Drop the beat. Come on, stop playing. <laughs>